Oops. Right, okay, part of Monday Club is performance is performance poetry. Uh, these two have only just met here this evening. Another part of the Monday Club, which is lovely, and they've decided to go head first into creativity. See you later, Paul. Good, good to see you. See you. And um, this is what you got to get. You got to get two pieces. And uh, please put your hands together for Tim Bleasdale and the Co-op with the Scales from Walton Vale. Thank <laughs> you. 
And as you look at your own reflection and see Venus rising as the morning star, you start to understand all the dreams and visions you've been having so far. As the divine truths of time drop from your branchless tree, they fall into the hearts and minds of those who can see. But I'm just another one of you, you're just another one of me. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you? The light. Love is the love, love is the love, love is, love is the love. Wow! Like we just like I don't usually do songs or music or anything. Like that. And that was just the poem I wrote. Um, and he was uh, he was just standing behind me and I said, "You play the drums?" And he's like, "Yeah." I said, "Well, fuck it, let's just do that." I'm just gonna take this out so everyone be be ready, ready. Come on, get ready, get ready. Come on, get ready. All right, so that was just a little playful uh, experiment that kind of went on. See what this was. Do you know where the sound comes from? Do you know where the sound why my tape go quiet? It's because when you're in the woman's womb, yeah, maybe that's what goes through yours. Man, I'm, man, be careful. <laughs> when when you're in the woman's womb, apparently um, that's the sound that you hear. Uh, so that's why people kind of go to quiet. Too. What's what's the fucking point? I mean, seriously. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I just want to say because this is my last night here, and I've done some poetry here before, and I'm going to Poland. I'm going to Poland to be a father, but I came here for the revolution. And this is I've seen all these musicians that I've seen here. I just want to say a massive thanks because it's been really entertaining. And Ian is like the most seller of fucking the Liverpool music scene, isn't he, right? I just want to say thanks to Monday Club has been fucking brilliant. I've had a great time, but I'm going to Poland because being a father and a good man and a good father is the revolution, right? But in the meantime, I've got a poem, and if you can listen, which is what's weird about me speaking, right? is that you listening is much more important than the words coming out my fucking mouth. That's how weird is that? These words that are coming out of my mouth from this cosmic Wi-Fi connection are less important than you listening. Weird, right? But who can listen nowadays, right? Get downloaded by Bill Gates. All your thoughts, Bill Gates will think for you. I got a poem, and this is dedicated to the love of my son, who's like a galactic brother. And if you can shh the fuck off for five fucking minutes, you bunch of fucking retards. It's all a mirror. I am also um, galactically inclined, and I can read something. All right, I'm gonna read it. Here we go. And so I set sail upon the omnipresent crystal liquid light waves of this ocean of infinite imagination and find myself collaborating cre creatively with all and every thought form ever conceived by the supreme source of creation. And as this divine situation becomes somewhat of a celestial celebration, I conclude this infinity of the divinity of all thoughts into a mathematical, multidimensional, time-traveling equation of... 
Time equals memory upon space, which also helps me comprehend the understanding of how the past, present and future all exist in one place. And as this revolutionary and divine slice of galactic sunshine helps me manifest my fate, I hear a diamond white rabbit on my shoulder whisper, but worry because everyone is always late for their fate, mate. And so I continue to walk the path of truth that few will follow and start to remember one of my past lives as one of the oracles of Apollo and sit down upon an island surrounded by a mirror of words and start to write out our message I'd shared, I'd once shared, which begins like this. When you understand a mountain just by holding a stone, you'll be able to hear the messages from the spirits when you're walking all alone. And as the white wings from the north will sing you the songs from the earth, it'll make you look into your own heart and realize it's up to you to care. No need to fight, just carry the light. <laughs> And so it's with a sapphire mind and emerald heart that every day becomes a brand new start and with a love so deep it bridges the world to the human heart becomes a galactic pearl. As your own evolution becomes the revolution, you remember Confucius and his solution of seeking seclusion from all illusion and trying to find a make to make a, try and find a way to make a contribution to humanity's evolution, a peaceful revolution. So that's what I've manifested, and this is my conclusion. It's called the five law theory. Apply these laws on and offline and we get our planet back from the fucking satanic entities running this planet. The five laws are one, no rape, two, no murder, three, no torture, four, no theft, five, no paedophilia. Apply these five laws on and offline and we have our back from this, we have our planet back from the satanic corporate entities ruling this beautiful planet. Chat GBT also agrees with me. It's an easy yet simple yet divine plan brought from the Mayan pyramids of Yucatan and the wisdom seasoned for a thousand years from the sages and samurais of Japan and will help every child, man, and woman. Thanks for That was so cosmic, it's never happened, ever, in Monday Club history. So somebody pulled the mic out. Please put your hands together for Tim! If you